economic freedom fighters says Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni's call for a review of the anti-homosexuality bill in his country is deep-seated in homophobia. Now, Museveni uh, rejected the bill, saying that he wants lawmakers to study the issue of rehabilitation. EFF Member of Parliament Shioliswa Yako joins us for more on this story. She joins us via our video link this morning. Yoliswa, good morning. It's great to see you. And that really is the issue, right? Um, whether the Ugandan president is sending it back to parliament so that it can be amended, but amended which, which way? Because in its current form, the bill does call for the death penalty. Um, so what he's calling for right now is basically to say, um, it's sort of, he's sort of saying that, you know, queer people, now you've got a chance to reform. So he's saying that you, we can reform if you are queer. Um, he's saying that you, you can say that, you know, I no longer want to be queer. Whereas that is not the issue at hand. Here's an issue of infringement of human rights where they still do call for all of those things. Um, but now they're giving, um, Ugandans who are queer or who identify as queer a way out to say, no, if you say you are now reformed, as if that's an option for queer people to say, I'm now no longer queer. And, and that is what we as EFF are saying, and that it is, in fact, it's steamed in bigotry. It's still steamed in homophobia. So it, it's not changing anything. It's just saying, OK, now you have a chance, an opportunity to say, um, I'm no longer identifying as queer, as if I can say I no longer identify as black. You know, that's exactly the essential way of saying, of putting this bill. Yeah. So when when the president says he's sending it back to parliament with, quote unquote, proposals for its improvement, it may not yeah. be what you and I think to be improvements. Exactly. Exactly. So, so to the to the outside world, it seems as if he is no longer wanting to to put a rubber stamp on this bill, or he wants to review it because he sees there's something wrong with the bill. No, he is now trying to put a, a a clause which is going to put a way out for people who identify as queer, and that is the essential issue that you can't unidentify as queer when you are queer. Um, you are born a certain way, um, so basically you can't, you don't choose to be a certain way. You are that person. So in, essentially, it's, it's saying that let me then have a way out where I no longer want to form part of it. It's, it's very, it's archaic. It's, it's, it's not, it's not in line with human rights um, at the moment. Uh, according to a statement um, from the president, he also says, quote, I totally agree with the bill, but my problem, my original problem is the psychologically disoriented person. So, so, so yeah. What he's, yeah, what he's saying is basically now being uh, queer is sort of a mental illness, right. you know. Um, he's they almost five to saying that it, you're you're mentally ill if you are identify as queer. There's something wrong with your with your mind. You are sick in a way if you identify as queer. Um, I don't understand how that can be because. Uh, the LGBTQI community does not choose. I don't think a person wakes up and chooses to be a certain way. You are that way. That's who you are. You should, in fact, as a black person in Africa, be able to, 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 to be yourself at the most optimum because as black people, we are so oppressed, you know, on many levels. Um, economically, we are, we are oppressed. As women, we are oppressed. Um, as a queer men, they are oppressed. So, there's, there's a lot going on. As, as people who are, who are transgendered, they are oppressed. So why would you wake up and choose to be that way? Um, and it's not because you're mentally sick. It's just how you're made. Yeah. No one in, in that context would choose that lifestyle, uh, choose that life, I should say. Yeah. Now, so um, now they want you to choose to not be, <laughs> as if that's an option for you. No, that's not an option. Yuliswa, the bill in its current form imposes serious penalties, capital punishment, life imprisonment sentences, um, up to 14 years as well for attempted homosexuality, 20 years in jail for recruitment, promotion and funding of same-sex activities. I understand that one of the things the bill also says is that if you are aware of homosexual behavior, you also stand to be sanctioned. Exactly. It, it even says if, if a child... Is, is suspected of being homosexual. That child then um, is subject to penalties. Um, and I'm asking, how do you then sexualize a child 
um, in that way where you're saying that they choose their sexuality. So a child uh, can now go to prison because they are suspected of homosexuality or practicing homosexuality as if that's a practice. I mean, you don't you don't wake up and practice anything. It's who you are. So, you know, many um, communities came out to say that, you know, the president sending the bill back to parliament does give the LGBTQI plus community a, a kind of a reprieve. But from what you're saying, Yuliswa, that's absolutely not what is happening here. There is no reprieve. There isn't. There isn't a reprieve. So basically you can't um, love the person that you want to love. You can't. Um, uh, you can't marry the person that you want to marry. Um, there's no reprieve. It's just, it's basically a way of saying, um, it's, it's a patronizing bill because it, it, it wants you now to say, no, I'm no longer queer, meaning that that is an option, which will then play into the homophobic aspect of, of, of that entire bill, um, th th which speaks that you can actually choose to be queer. You can yeah. choose to be a lesbian. You can choose to be gay. You can choose to be transgender. You can't choose. So it wants you to say, now I actually choose to be a certain way, um, which is very patronizing in its, in its own way. So um, the bill passed in Parliament almost unanimously with 389 MPs voting um, for the bill. Uh, what, what happens now? I mean, is there anything else in terms of pressure on Uganda. The president there has already said that he will not, um, I, I believe that the quote here is he will not normalize what he calls deviations. He will resist Western efforts to do exactly that. Essentially, his country is not going to bow to Western pressure on this issue. So where to from here for the LGBTQIA plus community in Uganda? Um, I think that, you know, as the EFF, we are a protest movement, which is why we went on a picket to the Ugandan Council um, in Pretoria, because we we believe that true protest um, through um, allegiance, through helping one another, um, through continuous talking and engaging, um, we can uh, one day find uh, um, peace as people who identify as queer. You know, um, in fact, as black people in general, because it's also um, it's untrue to say that being queer is un-African. Where, where is it un-African? It doesn't make sense because mostly the bigotry around homophobia is stemmed in, in Christianity, which if in itself we want to then engage on that, then we have a lot of debates as to what is African and what is not African, you know, and how people practice their Christianity and how people practice their Africanness. So, um, you know, we've got in South Africa, for instance, um, some Gomas who uh, embody the spirits of another gender. So we'll call them Umsegazi, we'll call them Uugogo, you know. So where is the gender uh, issue around uh, around our sexuality? It should never be an issue that we are debating. And hence we're saying that we should be debating more important things as Africa, which is the economy of Africa, which is how oppressed we still are as a, as a continent. Mm -hmm in general, and how we've been separated by the white capital in, 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 in the entire planet, and how segregated and we're not gaining anything. So why, why are we then um, embedding ourselves in, in more oppression uh, amongst each other? Yeah, never mind the corruption issue on the African continent as well, and how it leaves the vast majority of the continent in a cycle of poverty. Yulis Wayako is an EFF member of parliament. Let me thank you for your time this morning. The party weighing in on the Ugandan president sending um, his anti-homosexuality bill back to parliament.